Hi everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to show you all the books that I plan to read in March. So I actually have two piles to show you. I have one small pile of priority reads. These are the books that I really need to get to this month if I want to be part of the discussion because these are part of Relong or a buddy read. Then I have a second small pile which is my pile of possibilities I'd like to call it. These are the books that I can pick and choose from once I get through my priority reads pile. So without further ado, let's just get into the first book. And this is one that most of you know that I will be picking up this month because that is Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson, of course. If you don't know, I am hosting a read-along for the entire Stormlight Archive in 2022 so we can get to the fifth book, which comes out in 2023. Now, Way of Kings is the first one that we need to read. We will be reading this one in March and then have a spoiler-filled discussion at the beginning of April. So I already read the first 160 pages of this first book. I really enjoyed them, so I know that I'm going to love it. And even though it's a chunker, it's more than a thousand pages, it does read pretty fast. So yes, looking forward to this one, probably starting it this week. Next up, another body read, and this is one that I am going to be body reading with Joanna. That is Master Artificer by Justin T. Call. This is the second book in a quartet, the first book, Master of Sorrows, I also body read with Joanna a couple of months ago. And I was pretty positive when I finished it. After letting it cool down for a bit and thinking about it, I think that it's a three-star read for me. It's a fine book, but nothing more. That was pitched to me as Imagine following the Chosen One, but he is destined to become the Dark Lord. However, in that first book, I didn't really get that feeling yet, but I have heard that this second one gets a lot darker. So I'm quite excited to see what happens in this one. And if it's another three star read, which by the way is a fine book, there's nothing wrong with that. I do know that I will have fun either way because buddy reading with Joanna is always a lot of fun. Then another humongous book. It looks like I'm picking up quite a few tomes in March. And that is The Wall of Storms by Ken Lu, the second book in the Dandelion Dynasty. So Chris over at Chris Bookish Cauldron and I were going to buddy read this one last month but apparently both of us didn't really start and now we're going to start it today so yes this will again definitely be read this month because I'm already starting today and it's the beginning of March yet this is a big book I really enjoyed the first one Grace of Kings but it's definitely dense there's a lot going on in terms of political intrigue a big set of characters and it can be difficult just to keep track of sometimes so I think that this will be more of a slower read throughout the month. I'm not going to be reading a lot of big chunks every day, but I'm definitely going to be enjoying my time with this one. I've heard that the second one is even better than the first one. And I hope that both I and Chris will enjoy it and that we have a nice discussion. And then the last of my priority reads, and this is also the only one of that list that I will be listening to on audiobook. And that is The Heroes by Joe Abercrombie. So if you don't know, I'm slowly but surely making my way through the first law universe, reading one book per month together with Steve over at Steve Talks Books and Jose over at Amazing Worlds and we're currently reading The Heroes. We already have a date for the spoiler filled discussion which is going to be March 13th on my channel so of course I am going to be picking up this audiobook next. I need to finish my current read and then I'm off to this one. I don't know a lot other than that it says three men one battle no heroes so I didn't really enjoy it best served cold. We will see if I like this one more. And otherwise, I think that I just have to get through the standalones to then get into Age of Madness, which is a series that I really think that I will love. And now my pile of possibilities. So the first one I do really think that I can get to because I don't have a lot of audiobooks yet on the list. And that is the first book in the Rain Wild Chronicles by Robin Hopp. I've been saying that I will be reading this book for months at this point. I really enjoy The Realm of the Elderings. It's one of my all-time favorite series. So I really need to get to this one. I've heard a lot of bad meh reviews, even of people who really enjoyed The Realm of the Elderings. So maybe that's why I'm not that excited to jump into this one. Also because of course we're not following Fitz in this quartet, but still. Really looking forward to this one. I know that even if it's meh for Robin Hopp, it's still amazing because she's an amazing author. So yes, I think that I will be definitely getting to this one this month and I will be listening to it as an audiobook. Next on my pile of possibilities, we have Pandora by Susan Stokes Chapman. So this is a Greek myth retelling of Pandora, of course, and it's set in the 17th or 18th century. So that's definitely a pretty unique twist. Now that's all I know about this book. I like to go into my retellings as blind as possible because you already know something. So it's best to just not look up more, I suppose. But it's a new release. It came out in January of this year and I really want to give it a try. I already removed the dust jacket, so that means that I need to read it soon. Then next on my pile of possibilities, one that I already had on my TBR last month. Didn't get to it then, but I really want to read it because I've heard this is perfect to read in spring. 
I'm putting together a spring recommendations list, so it would be nice if I read this one first so I can decide whether or not I want to put it on the list. And that is Wildwood Dancing by Juliette Merlier. Of course, one of my favorite authors. This is the first YA by her that I am going to give a try, so I'm quite excited. And that cover is absolutely beautiful. I think that this is one of my all-time favorite covers, so yes, want to give this a try soon. And hopefully I like her YA works as well. Next one, a big one that I don't really know if I can read it in February, but I really want to read it soon. And that is Kashiel's Chosen by Jacqueline Carey. So this is the second book in the Phaedra trilogy by her. I read Kashiel's Dart, the first one, last month, and that is one of my all-time favorite books now. I really enjoyed that. So of course I want to continue with the trilogy. Now I will be reading this physically because I really enjoy the writing style and I want to enjoy it while reading it physically and paying more attention to it. But this is a 700 page book. So I already have quite a bit of physical books on the TBR. I don't know if I can pick it up just yet, but Let's just hope. One can always hope and then we see where we end up. And then the last book in my pile of possibilities, and that is Alphabet of Thorn by Patricia A. McKillop. So if you do not know this author, this is an author who writes modern fairy tales. I've read The Forgotten Beasts of Elf by her a little bit over a year ago, and I really enjoyed that. This is a little bit longer, it's almost 300 pages, but still I think a fast read, again a beautiful cover, and I just want to give it a try. And look at this image at the back. Yes, I hope that I will love this. I love fairy tales. So modern fairy tales where I don't know what's going to happen sound even better. I think that this is about a wizard, not a wizard. I think this is about an orphan who is very good with languages and she can translate each and every book, but then she comes across a book that she doesn't really recognize the language of, I think. That's all I know. I remember this from when I picked it up over a year ago as well. And Again, I just like to go in blind in some of these books, especially if their standalones are not that long. Sometimes the premise already tells too much. So this is everything that I hope to get to in March. Please let me know in the comments down below what you hope to read next month. And as always, I hope that you enjoyed the video and see you next time. Bye.